Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to Sabbath School Study Group. My name is Chris Bailey, and we thank you for taking the time to not just study the Word, but to study the Word with us. In fact, that's what we're going to be talking about in this series, sharing the Word, all for the purpose of learning how to make friends for Jesus, our best friend. So we want to pray that, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we unpack these principles that are ascribed to your Word, that they will become a part of our life, and in our life, they'll be a part of our witness to bless those around us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. The word is a beautiful gift to us because we know that in the beginning, God's original intent was that he would have face-to-face, voice-to-voice conversation with us. But sin put in a gap that separated us from him. But through Jesus Christ now, who is this bridge, he's kind of the, the wire that now reconnects us. Now he can transmit that message, transmit over that wire the gospel to you and to me. And he does it through this book, the word of God. When we think about the word, it's we want to see it as a creative power. That's what we're focusing on today. And if you understand that this book has creative power and that the word of God has then creative power, you can believe without a doubt that reading the word makes a difference because the word itself makes the difference. It's unlike any other book that may have some impact on us. There is a creative power in scripture because the one who breathed it or inspired it is the creator. When you read Hebrews chapter 11, verse rather chapter one and verse number three, it says on the very onset, he or the son being the brightness of the father's glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. This verse originally uses these pronouns and sometimes it's hard to figure who the he's talking about. So that's why we just wanted to illuminate them so that we could see that the one whose word that is spoken and by whose word is upholding the world, it's the word of Jesus because he is the one who he himself purged us from our sins. So that's where we see them both active in creation, both father and son. Christ now, though, as the agent of this creation. When we know that Jesus holds us up and keeps everything in place by his word, it's no different than when you take that word and put it to print. The same word that spoke and there was light. The same word that spoke and there was land is the same word that can speak to us and say, let there be life. Let there be love. Let there be learning. That word now working in us changes us. In Hebrews 4.12, it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That last part is pretty powerful when it talks about the therapeutic aspect of the word how the word is able to work in our minds and separate good from evil, separate thought from intent, separate the the things that we want to keep and then also cut from us the things that we don't need. That's powerful because that power to create is also that power to eliminate, it to sustain and to maintain life even in a sinful context. That's why you need a sword to, to do a cutting. When Romans, or rather Psalm 33, verse six and nine says, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made and all the host of him by the breath of his mouth. There's no doubt then how creation took and takes place for he spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. He commanded and it stood fast. He spoke and it stood fast, which means what? When he speaks, it'll stand fast. When he commands, it'll stand fast. 2020 and and year zero are no different when it comes to what God can do. In fact, when we think about creation, we need to understand that creation of what he did when he made us and then the creation of when he saved us, when he died on the cross, were the same event, the same power, just at two different times. So now, when we receive the word of God and accept it for what it is, Now, today, and you believe it, it creates, it does, it moves, it makes, 
just like it did in the beginning. And that's why now, whenever we accept what Christ says, we are even fact 